It is Money Monday, and there's a new study suggesting that a family of three, including two adults and one child here in Florida, would have to make $52,000 a year in order to earn what is considered a livable wage. But many people here in Central Florida don't make that much money. As a matter of fact, when you look at the numbers, the average salary in Florida is $35,000 per year. So if you are not a dual income household, you may have a tough time paying the bills. Joining us this morning is Gary Abley with Certified Financial Group. Always good to see you. Appreciate being here today. Good morning. All right, what do you do if you find yourself on the wrong side of this calculation here? Well, you've got to find a way to bridge the gap. So, as you mentioned, there's about a $15,000 gap between the average earnings and what a livable wage is. So one of the things that you could do is look at exactly what you are currently doing and perhaps look at a new career. So one of the websites that I like to give people is bls.gov, which is Bureau of Labor Statistics, and it will give you the average salary in different occupations. So by looking at that, you can maybe decide, all right, this career that I've chosen may not get me to that livable wage. Hmm. But uh, as most financial people say, the first start starting point is really your budget. You've got to find out where you can skimp if you're making less than a livable wage, and that's really hard. And that's where you find out a lot of times where you are wasting money is the little things. But housing is always one of the biggest ones here. Yes. In some cases, what, 25 up to 45% of the or budget? Or more. Yep. Yeah, exactly, or yep. more, especially here in Florida. Mm -hmm. What do you do if your housing budget is out of whack? Well, you have to look at the whole picture. So your housing, you might want to look at getting a roommate. You might say, do I need a three-bedroom apartment, or can I work on a one-bedroom or a two-bedroom apartment? You might look at where do I live? You know, how am I taking a car into work or do I really need to walk or take a bike into work? And those are tough decisions. And so sometimes you have to weigh the, the pros and cons and do, would I rather have a roommate or would I rather have a car? So it's really hard for those people who are mm. earning, you know, much less. And I think wages. a lot of times people have to realize that it, it, it can be temporary, right? Okay, you work two jobs right now, you go into right. a smaller apartment, hopefully you get on the right side of that equation eventually. I guess that's, that's the positive spin to this is it's going to take some work, though. Well, that's right. And, you know, you want to make sure that during this time period you're not accumulating debt because then that just snowballs and it's so hard to get out of debt once you're in it and paying, you know, 16, 18% interest. Yeah, that so. gets you. All right, Gary. Hey, if people want to reach you if they have more questions, what's the best way to do it? Uh, financialgroup.com. All right. Always good to see All you. Appreciate nice you.